Russia. Trying to describe any country and its communication patterns is always going to be difficult. The larger the country, both in terms of geography and population, the more difficult it becomes to represent the people. Russia, nearly twice the size of the United States, is diverse geographically, economically, and socially, with as many exceptions to the rules as there are rules. It's kind of like trying to describe a forest. If you stand outside the forest, you can't really appreciate what's inside. And if you're in the forest, well, you can't see the forest for the trees. And speaking of forests, Russia has a wide natural resource base, including major deposits of oil, natural gas, coal, and timber. Russia, the nucleus of a government once known as the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, was once so feared for its perceived economic and nuclear power that it influenced foreign policy all around the world. The communists came to power in the early part of the 20th century, and after a series of five-year plans, they lost control toward the end of that same century, leaving in its wake a country that is both modern and underdeveloped. Some people born since the collapse of the Soviet Union look at those 50 years of government as a sort of trick wrought upon the people. There are reminders of communist history throughout the country, and there will be for years to come. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, a constitution was created in 1993 for a new Russian federation. The economy. In 2005, the economy grew by about 6.5% and reported 8% unemployment. These statistics may not be entirely accurate because methods of circumventing the government were well established during the communist rule and, as a result, throughout Russia there's a dual economy, the one that's regulated by the government and the one that's not. And although the communists left a well-developed infrastructure, corruption and widespread well-founded lack of trust in institutions also work against the current economic vitality. More than half of all fresh produce in Russia comes from private gardens and is consumed by the family. Society The population of Russia, 143,420,309 people, is shrinking by about 0.4%. Most of the 120 ethnic groups are small, and although in the 1990s individual languages began to be taught in areas with large ethnic groups, nearly everyone in urban areas speaks Russian. More than 10% of Russians are Muslim, although Christianity is the main religion. About half the Russian population is claimed by the Russian Orthodox Church. Russians have a literacy rate of about 99%. About 6 million Russians use the internet, 60 million own televisions, and over 17.6 million use cellular phones. The family is still the basic social unit in Russia, and there are collectivistic tendencies throughout Russian society. Most people expect to marry and have children. Allegiances are often formed along educational or long-term group memberships, that is, People who attend university together, for example, often become lifelong friends because in the traditional system they stay with the same group they enter with until they graduate. Urban apartments are small. Many in Moscow were built by the prisoners of World War II and it's common for a family of three to live in a one or two room apartment with a kitchen and a bathroom. Rural homes tend to be larger, but sometimes lack running water and central heat. Russians have little leisure time because of the time they devote to getting food, working extra jobs, or taking care of their households. And finally, alcoholism and drug abuse affect more than 40% of the Russian population, and lung cancer is a common disease. Women's life expectancy is only 73, while that of men is only 61 years, reflecting in a decline in health that actually may be reaching crisis proportions.
there's so much more to Russia than what a single leaf or an entire tree might tell us. Perhaps, however, if we look at enough leaves, we may be able to identify the tree. And if we see enough trees, we can start to comprehend the beauty of the forest.